Hey everyone, Dan here. I want to show you how to create a re-editable smart photo. Just select a photo and browse and then click on a module you want to start in. I'm going to start in Enhance, but you can start anywhere and you can go from module to module. I'm going to select Edit a Copy and make sure I select the Photoshop format and select Re-editable Smart Photo. And you can do this with any file type. I happen to be doing this with a Nikon RAW file. I'm going to hit the Auto button in the Color and Tone pane to see where it starts at. That's not bad, but it's a little brighter than I want. So I'm just going to bring my exposure down a little bit to taste. That looks pretty good. I like the contrast and the shadow adjust when it's made. And maybe I'll bring those highlights down just a little bit more. And it set my white and blacks for me automatically. Maybe I'll bring up my detail just a little bit. And I kind of like my image a little warmer, being a fall photo. So I'll just bring that temperature slider up to make it a little bit more orange. There we go. Maybe we'll add a little vignette too. There we go. That's a pretty good start. Now I'm going to take it to effects to do some more work. In effects, there's a preset I love called the Fall Enhancer. So I'll just use a search field, type in Fall, and it finds the Fall Enhancer. This will bring up that Fall Foliage color. Cool, that looks pretty good. Maybe a little strong. Let's just bring the opacity of that back just a little bit to taste. And now I want to just bring back a little bit more detail in the sky. I'll click on that Add Filter button, and maybe we'll add an adjustable gradient filter. I'm going to click on the Darken preset, but we're going to fine tune it. I'll just grab the masking bug. I'm going to drag it up to the sky and twist it so that it's level with the ridge line and only affecting my sky. There we go. Now I can adjust the settings to my taste. I'm just going to cool it off a little bit, maybe make it a little bit darker, and maybe we'll bring that compression up just a little bit. There we go. That kind of creates a more dramatic, cooler looking sky to offset the rest of my photo. I'm going to hit save. Now back in Browse, we see a new image selected right next to the original with our edits applied to it. You'll also notice the little smart photo icon over here on the bottom right hand corner. If I open up the file info drawer in the smart photo history pane, you can see that I used enhance and effects. And if I want to change my mind and go back and readjust the settings in either module, all I do is double click on it. Let's say I think I overdid the retouching a little bit on the sky. I can just double click on effects it'll reload the photo with the exact settings that I left off in effects and I can adjust them. So we have the same stack that we left off with with the same settings. So if I click on the adjustable gradient where I adjusted the sky, I can tweak how strong it is. Let's say I want to bring that back and be not quite as strong and maybe I want to fuzz the sky a little bit so I'll turn up a little bit of a glow. There we go. That looks a little better. And maybe my foreground adjustment was a little strong too. So I can just use that opacity slider to soften it back so it's not quite as heavy handed. When I'm happy with my results, I just hit save and everything will be updated with my new settings. And back in Browse, we see our updated results. There you go, non-destructive re-editable workflow inside of On1 Photo 10. Thanks for watching.